absolutely wild, I'm sure. We heard it as a slap heard around the world. Uh, we know that Chris Rock told a joke about the baldness of Will Smith's wife, that's Jada Pinkett Smith. And well, Will did not respond as many of us would have thought he would. Here's the footage. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Will Smith went up, slapped Chris Rock. Wow, wow is the word. So following the slap, Smith returned to his seat and he told Rock to keep his wife's name out of his effing mouth. And well, the joke that Rock said that really set off Smith was essentially Jada can't wait for GI Jane 2, which is, you know, making fun of the fact that, hey, she has no hair, and GI Jane, which is played by Demi Moore, shaved her head in that film. And this joke really seemed to make Jada visually uncomfortable, as you can see here. And what we know is that Pinkett Smith had announced last year that she suffers from alopecia, which is why she was shaving her head. That's an autoimmune disease that causes uncontrollable hair loss. And the thing is, Chris Rock should have been familiar with alopecia, even if he didn't necessarily know whether Jada had the disease or not, because he touched on the subject when he talked about black women's hair loss in his 20, 2009 documentary, Good Hair. I saw good hair, I know it was talked about. And the thing is, this isn't the first time Chris Rock has talked about Jada Pinkett Smith. Publicly, that is. Well, because during her Oscar protest in 2016, Rock, who was hosting that year, said Jada got mad, said she's not coming. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited anyway. Well, after winning Best Actor for his role last night in King Richard, well, Will Smith apologized. Of course, to everyone except for Chris Rock. And Smith was crying a lot during his entire address. In terms of the legal fallout here, because as we know, as you randomly walk up and hit somebody, it could be considered an assault. Well, this is what we know. Early Monday morning, a spokesperson for the LAPD confirmed that Rock declined to press charges against Smith. LAPD investigative entities are aware of an incident between two individuals during the Academy Awards program. The spokesperson said in a statement, the incident involved one individual slapping another. The individual involved has declined to file a police report. If the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. Wow, so we have two A-list celebrities smacking each other, or at least one smacking the other on primetime TV. Uh, Dina, what are your thoughts? You know, it is pretty shocking, right? Because we, ex I guess expect celebrities to maybe be able to conduct themselves in this kind of situation. You know, I always kind of feel for the per, the victim, you know, in a situation. And I do think Chris Rock was the victim here, although he did say an inappropriate and offensive joke. You know, I think it's never okay to resort to violence. And I wonder if he was protected enough in that situation. You know, did an Academy Award person who was his boss, right? I mean, this was a job for him. This was a workplace for him. Did did they go up and ascertain whether or not, you know, to talk to Will Smith during the break or anything like that? You know, if I were Chris Rock, you know, I don't know if I would want to have had to press charges in order for somebody to be kind of looking out for my interest. And I wonder if, it, I mean, in the moment, the, the Academy probably didn't quite know how to handle this situation. But I do think that we have to always kind of support somebody who's in that, um, you know, receiving end of of getting hit for any reason. Yeah, I think a lot of people weren't necessarily certain whether they were joking around or not, given that they've been in the industry for long periods of time, both dabbled or at least definitely do comedy. And I'm sure it was quite shocking. I do, it is my understanding that the members of the Academy did go up and approach both of them, checked in on them and whatnot. But we also know that things blew up on social media. That and it revealed quite a divide out there. We got to see who is the violence is never the answer versus who is the, you know, mess around and find out. And so one of them in the since deleted tweet was Congresswoman Ayanna Presley. She happens to suffer from alopecia herself. Well, she's evidently team Will. 
She tweeted out, Alopecia Nation, stand up. Thank you, Will Smith. Shout out to all the husbands who defend their wives living with alopecia in the face of daily ignorance and insults. Oscars women with baldies are for real men only. Only boys need not apply. And this tweet was deleted after it was posted and it went up quickly. Another tweet that was deleted after it went up, but it went up for quite some time because it got ratioed to death. Well, that was from director Judd Apatow. Check out this tweet from him. He said about Will Smith, he could have killed him. That's pure out of control rage and violence. They've heard a million jokes about them in the last three decades. They are not freshmen in the world of Hollywood and comedy. He lost his mind. This is so interesting because it does speak to a divide. We have Ayanna Presley, who is a black woman and has been on the receiving end of alopecia jokes, comments, remarks, and also knows just being a black woman what massage noir is like and the fact that people come at us black women all the time. So to be defended not only as a black woman, but also one who has an autoimmune disorder, shall we say a disability, it's a hell of a thing. It's something that we don't see very often, particularly because there's this racist notion that black women do not need protection. And so this thought that if Will Smith is out here protecting his wife or standing up for her, that that is such a foreign concept. And then you also have individuals like Judd Apatow who tweeted out this thought that he could have killed him. Yeah, because being slapped in the face is what going to cause death. You know, it just really hearkened this thought that black men are inherently dangerous, deadly in some way when it was it was inappropriate. Yeah, but it was just a slap. So for Apatow to describe Will Smith like this, I see why he deleted it and got ratioed out of control because to to. To claim Will Smith was out of control with rage and violence. It's like all we do is get these hyped up senses of animalistic qualities and behaviors that are far from the truth. Because in my opinion, if this was Tom Hanks going up there to defend Rita Wilson, everybody would have been thumbs up. Good man, not even questioning a damn thing. But because it's Will Smith, a black man, I think that that's why we are seeing this significant divide in terms of responses. Where you have people saying, "Oh, you know, I'm glad he stood up for his wife." Massage noir needs to end, and then you have other people saying he should be put in handcuffs. Dina, no, I I think that I think you make really great points, but I I also think if Chris Rock had been a white man, would they have kind of allowed again, a kind of a maybe allowed it to happen, or would there have been more of an outrage for him kind of being victimized? But because there were two black men, did people kind of say, well, okay, you know, it's just like a fight between them, and maybe like hands off, not do anything? You know, was there enough of an outrage about it? You know, I think that if he had just said what he said, right, in his seats, yelled out, cursed out, he could have defended him defended his wife in a way that was still, you know, really outside the norm and in the moment. And I, I would have been much more okay with that. But then once he kind of gets up and again hit somebody in the middle of their job, um, and then they're and they're not, I think, being enough of a protection against the fact. I mean, Chris Rock. I mean, they're lucky that Chris Rock didn't try to hit him back. That he was professional. He continued the show. You know, he. Yes, he said a, a, a bad joke. Uh, some people could say though, being included in his monologue, it almost makes you relevant, right? I mean, there was a ton of stars who probably wish they could have had a joke. And it was a bad joke. And again, if he had said something but not hit him, I, I would be much more on Will Smith's side. But but instead, I feel um, I feel for, for Chris Rock in the moment. Yeah, you know, I just think that there's a lot of difficulty, at least struggle for me as a black woman on the receiving end of massage noir. Because when someone actually finally does stand up to for us, it becomes a matter of, oh, you didn't do it right, or oh, this wasn't the right time, or your response wasn't okay. Also, too, you know, again, I I agree. If the if there were interracial dynamics here, I definitely think Will Smith would be far far more in trouble than he is now, because now it's just considered an embarrassing moment for him. But also, you could see that Chris Rock had been hit plenty of times heretofore. The way he snapped back with the quickness, nah, he braced for impact. I'm sure that man, it's been a long time since he's been clocked while he's doing his stand up routines. But it, I, I think he'll be okay. And I'm glad that they were able to work this out. But I think that we do need to have deeper conversations in society in terms of how black women are treated and mistreated on public stages. And also what needs to be done to stand up for them.